Hi, I'm Dobby, but you can call me Dobbs. So today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing Tier Maker. And Tier Maker is this website where you can either make tier, like, tier rankings or you can um, play already made ones. And basically there's a bunch of things uh, that all fit one category and you can put them into tiers like the S tier, A tier, B tier or sometimes they're named different things. What tier ranking I'm doing today is Harry Potter characters, and I really love Harry Potter. And I'm a Ravenclaw, by the way. You guys should tell me what house you are in the comments. Okay, so uh, before we start, I'm gonna tell you guys what tiers there are. Uh, I'm gonna start recording. So you should see the recording of my um, iPad right here. Here. <laughs> um, Basically, there is the God tier, the Great tier, the Good tier, the Eh tier, the Bad tier, and the Avada Kedavra tier. The Avada Kedavra tier is the worst one because Avada Kedavra is the killing charm. So basically, I have this many characters. I don't know how many there are, this many. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to like kind of rank them. Yeah. So let's begin. First, we have um, Mad-Eyed Moody or Alistair Moody, he was like a really like, I don't know. I really did like his character and I think his character was very important to Harry Potter and the story, but I feel like he wasn't too special or like super important, so I'm gonna put him in good. Um, the next one we have is Filch, and Filch was the caretaker of Hogwarts. What he did was he kind of like, clean stuff and he made sure everything was organized but he was also really annoying i'm putting him in bad tier okay so this one was one that i was like not sure about so what we have here is bellatrix lestrange and the problem was that i love her character like i love the way it was written i love the way that um helena Bo boham carter i think that's her actor's name i love the way that she like acted but i really like the way that she was written and i love her character but morally she was a really bad character because like she was like one of the bad guys or whatever so if i i like her and i would put her in great tier but her being bad goes to bad tier so i'm just gonna put her in the middle and put her in eh tier the next character is cho chang um cho chang was is a ravenclaw like me but i feel like she's <sighs> eh. She's eh because she was Harry's first love interest and stuff, but she wasn't very important to the story. Um, Dobby goes straight to God tier because my name is also Dobby and he was, I don't know, he was just so loyal and he was... And then the next one is Umbridge. She's going straight to Avada Kedavra tier because she was in book, um three yeah oh wait it was no no book five. Oh my god i'm oh. dumb she was in book five and she was the new um defense against the dark arts teacher and she was terrible and she was annoying and she got everyone in trouble and she got people in trouble even when they literally didn't do anything and i hate her next draco draco had such good character development we're putting him in great tier because uh, good, great, good, great. Because Draco, he he started off like when we saw him, he was like this annoying, like bratty kid. And then he grew and like through the series to be super actually important to the story and stuff. And like Bonk. Dudley, we're going to put in bad tier, even though at the end he like he and Harry like got along through the, most of the entire story. He was just afraid or like bullied Harry and bad tier. The next one is Dumbledore. We're gonna put him in, I don't know if I should do God tier or great tier. I feel like compared to Dobby, he's not as good as Dobby. So I'm gonna put him in great because Dumbledore was like, he was just Harry's mentor and he was like, he was one of Harry's father figures and I don't know. Just... Next one is Fleur. Fleur was in book four. Fleur, four. Wow, amazing. Huh? Okay. Uh, so she was one of the contestants in the um, the Triwizard Tournaments. 
and she was i feel like she was cool and all but she didn't do that much so i'm gonna put her in eh. um the next one is um oh my god what's his name this this is the dude from uh the bank i don't remember his name though i don't feel like he he was that important so i'm just gonna put him in eh. i don't really remember him that much the next one is oh my god i've been looking at this guy for like five minutes and i can't figure out who he is i think it's barty crouch jr but i'm not sure and if it is nope. he also wasn't important so i'm gonna put him in bad i guess i don't know i'm gonna put him eh okay gilderoy lockhart gilderoy lockhart was like such an annoying and like such an annoying character but i also feel like he was a uh, really like funny he made um book two really funny it was book two is my least favorite book and movie and i feel like he made this like way funnier i think so we're gonna put him in i don't want to put him good because like he's like annoying i feel bad but i want to put him in good Ginny. in the movies i feel like Ginny isn't represented as much as she should be because in the book she was so important she was she ends up, hopefully you guys have seen Harry Potter, if not, skip this part, but Harry and Ginny ended up together and Ginny was so important and she was so independent and strong and that's why we're going to put her in uh, God tier. Yeah. The next one is Grindelwald. I don't know that much about him, but because I haven't seen Crimes of Grindelwald yet um oops. oops so we're just gonna put him in like eh hagrid hagrid is gonna go in great because he was another one of harry's kind of mentors and he was also he was like one of harry's father figures that like never really like left or like died or anything like that and i feel like he was so important to like the story but also he was like funny and he made the story so much better harry potter I feel like Harry isn't like God or like he isn't God tier or anything. He's not amazing. He's kind of stupid, what? even though he's like the main character and all and stuff. But like, I'm gonna put him in like great, good. Okay, he wasn't like stupid, but like he made a lot of like dumb decisions, and I feel like he couldn't have gotten past anything without Hermione or even Ron but he was really caring and he was really brave but because he was brave that kind of led him to like make dumb decisions he was like oh I'm brave I'm gonna do this but like no yeah, I don't know so I'm just gonna put him in great because he's not as good as the people in god tier Hedwig is gonna go in good tier because he was there almost the entire story he was like, but even though he couldn't, like, talk or anything, he, I feel like he supported Harry in a animal way. Like, if you have a pet, I've never had a pet, but, like, if you have a pet, I think that's what it's like. Yeah. Hermione goes to God tier because no one could, Harry and Ron couldn't have gotten through anything without Hermione. Hermione was the lead, not the lead, but, like, she was, she was, like, she was super strong and she fought through everything and she knew stuff she she had like the power of intelligence and she still managed to get good grades while fighting through all of that like stuff that harry and ron and her went through so god tier this is like cornelius fudge or something and i'm gonna put him in bad tier because then we have james harry's dad and we're gonna put him in he wasn't a bad character, but I feel like there wasn't too much to him. Eh, tier? Yeah, eh, tier. Because he was also, like, mean to Snape and stuff. Lily Potter, we're gonna put in good tier because I feel like she was more supportive, kind of, to Harry. And she was, like, I don't know. I feel like she was a better role model, even though James had more of, like, a history that had to do with Harry Potter and, like, kind of stuff that was important to the history. Lily, I feel like, is better than him. <laughs> And then Creature goes into bad tier, even though he was super loyal to Sirius's like, family, he was also kind of annoying. Lavender Brown goes in bad tier because she- I feel like she had a little bit of character development, but I also feel like 
a lot of her was just like her like trying to be in love with Ron or something and I don't know she was kind of irritating and she didn't do that much even though she was okay so then we have Lucius Malfoy goes in I feel like this is also slightly like Bellatrix's like problem no situation situation um I feel like he he was like a cool character and I really liked seeing how he was written but I also feel like he was like a terrible character like hit like morally and ethically he was a bad character so i'm gonna put him in eh. luna lovegood great good great tier luna used to be my favorite character and this is luna lovegood's wand by the way and she used to be my favorite character and i don't know why i feel like it was just because i was like oh she's in ravenclaw and so so am i she's like weird she's different and she she was really independent and strong during the battle of hogwarts so Great right here. McGonagall. <sighs> I don't know if I should put hit McGonagall in great tier or god tier. I feel like she's not as good as the people in god tier, but I feel like she's also better than the people in great tier. I put her right in between, but I'm just going to put her in great because McGonagall was so like strong and she was so like powerful and important and she actually like defended the hogwarts when no one else could she like she defended voldemort and like the entire like voldemort's army and stuff the death eaters and stuff and that was cool uh moaning myrtle she was annoying <sighs> bad tier she was just annoying nagini 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 she's from crimes of Grindelwald and I don't know anything about her so I'm just gonna put her in eh but she looks pretty <laughs> uh then we have Neville we're gonna put him in I feel like we should put uh, god tier because no great tier huh? god mm. yeah why not god tier because Neville okay he had he also had really good character development he started from like this guy who was like kind of afraid of stuff and he wasn't he wasn't that brave and he didn't understand why he was putting Gryffindor. And then when he like was in the Battle of Hogwarts, he like killed Nagini the Snake, Nagini, I don't know how to say her name. And he was like actually brave and he cares for people and he cared about Harry and he has like courage inside of him. So why not? Newt, good tier. Newt is from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and he is, um, I don't know. I I read the screenplay, but I didn't watch uh, the movie for Fantastic Beasts. Awesome. I did, but I wasn't paying attention to it because I was with my cousin. Thirsty. Turkey. Hungry. 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 Oh, 오구 잘한다. Hungry. 누 누나 저기 다비 누나 입고 오고 해봐. Hungry. 다시 해봐. Hungry. Hungry. Oh. 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 아니 여기 털티 이쁘고 털티 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 아니야 잘하고 있어 형은 진짜 잘하고 있어 um but he was really nice that's all I remember Conks great tier she was really like fierce and like confident and courageous and she was cool I don't know who this dude is he looks like Albert Einstein with a tan um I don't know who he is oh my god uh, I'm just gonna put him in eh. Percy, uh, bad tier, no, eh tier because he was annoying, bad tier, bad tier. He was, he was like, he was perfect. He was trying to be perfect and like get good grades and he always told on people and he was kind of annoying. Peter Pettigrew, Avada Kedavra, he's dumb. He was, he's literally a rat. Lupin goes to I almost want to put him in god tier, but I think I want to put him in great tier because him and Tonks are like the same level and I feel like they were both very important to the story and very important to the final battle of Hogwarts and they were really like independent and they cared about Harry so much and Harry didn't like want them to like go into battle and like even like die for him but they were willing to risk that and that's cool. Ron goes to God tier, I think, 
because he wasn't only like the humor or like the comic relief of the story because people always think that but he was actually like really loyal and he was like brave and he faced his fears a lot and he faced things that he was scared of and worried of and he was really cool um who's this oh that's um this is seamus no oh my god what's his name oh uh, oh my god not it's not seamus gorman it's the dude with seamus gorman oh wait is it seamus i don't remember his name but i know who he is and we're gonna put him in good serious good tier because he was Harry's father figure and I feel like he wasn't too much of a good role model on Harry but I also feel like he was important to Harry and he was brave. Snape, good tier because we could actually see his like development as a character and like it was really cool to see how he was like a triple agent in a way and even though he seemed like a terrible terrible character i think that he did have some like good in him and i feel like he was like he was very important to the history of harry potter and like harry potter as a whole and how it unfolded so good uh trelawney bad she was annoying she was like would you like to see your future in my cup of tea victor eh tier because he was he was like hermione's like date to the dance and he also um was in the triwizard tournament but i also he was only in that um book or movie and he didn't really do that much voldemort avada kedavra because he's voldemort and um he also doesn't have a nose and Coral also Vada Kedavra because he like deceived everyone. He was like weird. It wasn't really Coral though, was it? It was Voldemort talking inside of Coral's body. But still, he was very morally bad and was like dis like lied to everyone about who he actually was and yeah. Bonk. Okay. That's it. But I don't know if I should change this decision decision now because Harry Potter I feel like to me is great or good tier but so, like in society like socially he's supposed to be god tier because like he's the main character but to me he's just great good so we're just gonna keep him there I just want to let you know in case you think Harry should be in god tier that's it this is my harry potter um tier ranking list rank thing you can see it on the screen right there tell me if you agree or disagree with any of my answers in the comments and who you would change and don't be too mad for wh where i put people um yeah so Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, leave a like if you liked this video and subscribe if you want more content like this. Happy reading!